Welcome in everybody. Welcome in. Welcome in. I am the Empress and I'm here to do a general reading for you guys. This is a Divine Masculine Karmic Tale. So this is where we're going to discuss how does the karmic feel about the Divine Masculine currently. Okay, so what are her thoughts on the connection? Where is the connection headed in her eyes? This is from her point of view, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it. I think I'm going to start off with the Romance Angels. If you're new to the channel, welcome, 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 welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you, everybody who has shopped on the website and as well as purchased a personal reading with me. Thank you guys so much for your support. For everyone who's liked, shared, subscribed, and commented. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank you so, 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 so much. All right, so let's see how the karmic is feeling about the Divine Masculine currently. It's a lot that, can, that just jumped out. It's literally so much, but let's take a look and see. I'm going to say right off the bat, that she has a lot of romantic feelings for this masculine. What her issue is, is that somebody else can come in and take the divine masculine from her. So she feels like the masculine is her property. She owns him. She wants to get engaged. She wants to take the connection to the next level. She feels like the connection should be on the next level very, very soon. Okay, so she's going to be expressing that to the masculine. Like, look, when are we going to take this to the next level? I done been doing all of this, doing all of that. When are we going to take this connection to the next level? So let's see what else. Let's get a quick little message from here. All right, so tell me more about this karmic. How does this karmic feel about divine masculine? She's been keeping an eye on him, and I feel like also like they they take pictures, or they're they're getting ready to take some pictures, or she's looking at their old pictures. She's looking at pictures, and then we got mirror. She's mirroring somebody, okay? So, it seemed like copying somebody's pictures. Um, maybe if she sees something something that she feel like is cute, oh, hey, we should do this. Oh, we should do that. Oh, what about this? Oh, what about that? Yeah, and then we got the golden mirror. She feels like the masculine is super duper stuck on himself and self-absorbed and one-sided. I feel like this is a habit of something that she's trying to break. We got hammer here. She's trying to break him out of being so self-absorbed. But he can't help it. Look at this. Paradise and self-indulgence. He can't help it. This is just him. This is how he is. This is how he is. Okay. He could be very, very handsome, very good looking, very charming. All right. Tell me more. More. How does this karmic feel about the divine masculine? How does this karmic feel? Oh, I saw the lovers. The lovers wanted to jump. Could be a Gemini. Yeah, she said, look, this is my man. He fine. He sexy. He all of that. And we're going to be together. We're going to be together for a long time. Okay. She said, whoever mad, oh, well, y'all going to get over it. She said, it's going to be her man for a long time. Okay. Page of Wands. Three of Wands. She waiting to see what's next. She's waiting to see what's next. What's the next move? What female gonna come and say what? 
she be thinking she be overthinking like she's an overthinker um and she's thinking real hard on what she should do next like what's the next move what was what should they do next Mm, I'm getting bad karma. Because, see, we got the Five of Cups and the Justice. Okay, so this situation, I'm hearing is rushed. Okay, like, it's, it's like it moved, it's moving along so fast. She's trying to definitely get this masculine to either marry her. Or take things to the next level. Move in together. I'm seeing somebody talking about getting a new place. Um, the lovers is here. So she's very much so in love with this masculine. And like I said, she wants things to go to the next level. But he don't see it that way. She said, well, he don't see it that way. He don't want to take the risk. He liked the relationship just how it is. He feel like it's serious enough. Okay, so she's wanting the masculine to engage, you know, engage more, engage more with her and and actually possibly give her an engagement ring, take that to the next level. And he like, look, we, we good enough. We good how it is. It's straight how it is. Five of Pentacles. I feel like she's been helping this masculine out when he ain't have nothing or have nowhere to go. So he feels kind of obligated to her. She is, oh, she a doormat. <laughs> okay, let's see. And the Two of Cups. Now, the Two of Cups is here, but we also got that Knight of Wands. And that's very much so in and out player energy, Four of Pentacles. So, this masculine is back and forth. Their connection is on and off. It's constantly on and off. She wants him to let go of the past, of his past, what he been doing, um, how he been acting. But, like I said, this masculine feel like he done gave her enough to where she should be satisfied. Don't come asking me for nothing else because I gave you what you asked for. I gave you what you asked for. So, you got me and that should be good enough. And she keeps asking him for next level, next level, next level. And this masculine is like, mm, you know, I appreciate you for helping me when I ain't have nothing. See, she feel like she been helping him since he ain't have nothing. So she feel like he owe her. He owe her some debt. They argue a lot, too, about the past, about his past. She said, you don't think that I know this? She said, you don't think that I know this? You thinking about somebody from your past? You don't think I know this when something wrong with you? Hmm. Yep. This started an argument out of nowhere. Okay. They just had an argument that started out of nowhere in the recent past. Somebody didn't see a message. Somebody said, she's saying that, look, she saw the message, but she ain't respond. And he got mad about it and caught an attitude with her. So she saw the message. She ain't respond to his message. And they caused some type of argument. And then she said he turned around and asked her for some money. Or she asked him for some money. Somebody said that they was going to expose, even if it was a lie. So she is, oh, wow. Wow, there's blackmail going on here. She said, yeah, if you leave if you want to and see what happened. Oh. She is blackmailing him. And she said, apologize first. Oh. She said, listen, 
honey, that's it for me. I don't need to see. She's blackmailing this masculine. She is blackmailing him. She got some type of something, information about him that she's hanging over his head. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, honey. Because, baby, when I say that's that tea, that's that tea, honey. I don't even want to mess with it no more. Mm -hmm. We're going to leave that right there where it's at, okay? All right, I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.